federal judge sides with parents of children with disabilities, saying the law makes school unsafe for some kids. Those parents aren't the only ones who've taken their frustration over that mask mandate ban to court. We introduced you to this Council Bluffs mom last month when she filed suit against the governor and the Iowa Department of Education. Okay, TV News Watch 7 Sarah Feely speaks with her as she reacts to the block on the ban. Sarah. Now, both the federal lawsuit and Fran Parr's lawsuit specifically named Council Bluffs schools as plaintiffs. Parr hopes that will force a fast decision by the district, and she hopes it's a mandate. Fran Parr sued the state of Iowa, hoping to give schools the right to put mask mandates in place. After hearing a federal judge did exactly that in another lawsuit Monday. Just an absolute relief. Reading from the court order, Parr feels a sense of justice. Forcing children to bear the brunt of societal discord is, quote, illogical and unjust. And I was just like, oh my gosh, this is just, you know, I thought getting to the core of these kids who are just stuck in the middle of this. She wants local districts to mandate masks as fast as lawmakers banned them back in May. So in terms of moving quickly, there's no reason that the school districts can't move and, the, and frankly, Department of Education can't move as quickly. The federal suit is filed by families of children with disabilities in Iowa who say their kids don't have access to fair education when their health and safety is at risk. The ACLU says We're very grateful to the district court for blocking this dangerous law, which put kids in harm's way and violated their civil rights and education. Iowa Governor Kim Reynolds says the state will appeal the federal judge's ruling, saying they have to uphold state law and, quote, defend the rights and liberties afforded to any American citizen protected by our Constitution. Matt Wyant with Pottawatomie County says nearly 20 percent of their cases in the last two weeks were among kids under 17, so he's thankful for the judge's decision. I, I'm excited to think that we're going to have that little bit of local control back here at our level uh, to be able to have our local school boards um, be able to make those decisions. Council Bluffs Community Schools tells us it's reviewing the guidance and plans to communicate any changes tomorrow. For now, masks remain optional across the district. Back to you.